dreamers, and welcome back to another Diamond Painting 101 episode. This is an especially inspiring episode by Natalia, where she shares her deeply personal journey with diamond painting, tackling topics like mental health, wellness, and family. I invite you to reflect on how diamond painting has made a difference in your life, and leave us a comment down below. Also, be sure to show Natalia your support by liking this video. Let's jump right in. Hello everybody, welcome back to 101 with Natalia, videos, tips and tutorials. And in today's video, we will kind of together with you figure out why diamond painting could be a good health benefit for you and people around you. So this is kind of a little bit touchy subject for me and I would love to share with you a little bit some of my story that I never liked to share before. Uh, so yeah, I was kind of procrastinating to do this video, but here you go. If you, if I would go back to 2000, not 2000, but 2014, uh, that was really difficult time that started in my life. Um, and I'm not gonna say why, uh, but you can figure out if you go back to the time. So I went to a deep deep depression it was really difficult i lacked in in myself and i stopped to do everything crafty i love to do i just couldn't force myself to do anymore uh, so then years later i figured out that it's not only hurting me but also i hurt people who are around me um, not physically but emotionally been locked in in myself I didn't want it to go nowhere I didn't want it to tuck or have a friends um, it was a really difficult time so to find myself in a better place I figure out that uh, point that I need to change my mindset I unfollow from social media um, all people who was negative uh, I unfollow groups that put me down because I constantly would go read news. I would sit day and night on the internet reading the news because it was important to me. Even I knew it hurt me, but I could not change myself. So years later, uh, when I start to realize that I am not healthy person on the inside, um, I did my first diamond painting that I ordered three of them and I realized that that calmed me down that brought my happiness back to life um, and I figured out that it's only not me who can have benefits from diamond painting because when you diamond paint you kind of you forget and all the negativity that surrounds you around and make you happy when you place the diamonds on your canvas they are sparkle make you smile um so i started my diamond painting and little by little i kind of i find myself that i'm happier and i start to come out with my other crafts that i long time forget about it uh, and just wanted me to be creative again so i decided you know what i'm gonna start my youtube channel and i will do this all these crafts and if anybody can benefit from my videos that will make me a happy person as well so guys uh, the diamond painting brought me back <laughs> and it's really emotional but it's true and if you have some kind of depression in yourself just you know what order one diamond painting your very very first one and dreamers design has a beautiful selection to choose from and when you start to place their diamond paintings on your canvas when you hold this beautiful little little tiny beads it makes you happy when you see how they sparkle it changes you so it brings you happiness and healthy at the same time also if you know somebody who has uh, issue maybe with anger maybe kids have a anger it's good for them to start uh, diamond painting uh, don't buy big diamond canvas buy smaller size and while they diamond paint 
it will calm you down so as if you have a kid um, because lots of kids this time has lots of anger issue and I think if you diamond paint with them or in this mother any craft it will help them to overcome that anger and anxiety depression and help and also when I posted my very very first video about diamond painting when I started to do that time um, not many people have diamond paintings and was like all new to this uh, craft and I've realized that it's not only healthy for the people who um, has no issue with health but also who has a down syndrome health um, and I think that's like you know when you hold in a, your drilling pen you learn to be uh, coordinating your your moves uh, to place the diamonds exactly on the square and I think it's learned even if, we, if you have a little tiny kids and you know how kids like to hold pen like this uh, with diamond painting you can teach them to hold pen with your fingers and that will help them in the future to do a work at school proper way and not like this or I see many ways um, kids holding a pen in a wrong way so this is benefits not as for adult people who like to create stuff but also for the kids uh, it will learn them to be patient it will learn it will teach them uh, to um, to learn the colors as well because there's uh, so many colors in diamond paintings we have it will teach them all those colors if you like to play game with kids and pick different colors of the baggie and they will learn colors together with you so as you can see you not only drill them also it's like a game play for your kids to learn colors to learn how to place them find those symbols so the benefits is endless okay and now to talk about how we diamond paint sometimes we spend many many hours I do because I love to do that so very often I can catch myself that I go too close to my canvas um, and usually my desk not as low um, I would say a little bit higher than right now I'm working on and sometimes when I tire, I feel when my shoulders drop down and I go too close to my diamonds with my eyes. So try to stay focused and put your posture like nice and straight back, not to go too low to your canvas because that will hurt your back later on or lower back or upper back. And when you drill too much and especially if you drill your tray uh, with diamonds stay a little bit further from your diamond painting and all these movements sometimes can hurt you so just put tray a little bit close to the area where you're drilling and that will eliminate all these movements that you do for your shoulders and you're going to be in perfectly good healthy mood and happy because nothing gonna hurt you also one more tip i would love to give you if you drill too long time like many hours um our eyes get in too much tension from those little tiny beads so it is a good idea to have some kind of distraction sometimes a little bit uh, maybe turn on tv somewhere further um, and when you drill don't just concentrate your eyes point on your drills uh, put your eyes away and look far away to your TV so your eyes get a little bit break from being so tense um, because I don't know how uh, some people could be maybe frustrated maybe your diamonds not as good maybe you doing this first time and you're really really nervous if you're doing a great or not and you get in this tension so hard that you can start to have a headache even so just relax remember to stay nice and straight on your seat keep your back straight and time from time distract yourself by watching TV or maybe a computer in front of you and you like to watch the other youtubers that would be wonderful too that way 
you're not only drilling diamond painting and enjoying yourself also you enjoy watching the other youtuber who shares same love for craft as you are and it feels like you have a company in your house you're not alone anymore and if you are a person who um, depressed maybe you have some anxiety you feel like you have a friend who drill together with you and all of a sudden you know you are happier because you're not alone you listen words from the other people and not just like a room only you and it's quiet you can hear the crickets around right so just you know watch other youtubers and that's something that i like personally to do um and the good thing about the diamond painting that you don't need to really look what you like to see and just listen also it's a good idea to maybe you love to read books but you love to do diamond paintings find the books that you can actually listen and there's lots and lots of books audio books on internet many of them is free and you like to drill and at the same time you listen to the uh, to the book um, that computer will read it for you also maybe you like to listen music put your favorite music and listen to it me personally i like to listen uh, for some reason spanish music it, it gives me in a good the mood um, i want to dance after that <laughs> also i like to learn the spanish lessons i take in spanish lessons on internet because it's all free and that's the benefit see you're doing your diamond painting you enjoying the sparkles and also you're learning something else also if you don't like to be alone and you know you don't want to be tell your kids uh, okay I'm gonna do diamond painting don't bother me I will watch this with you movie later no watch movie together uh, your kids can sit next to you on a sofa somewhere you're at the table you can still can do your diamond paintings and together you can watch movie with your kids you can talk you can watch sports with your husband let them talk away about the hockey or maybe football and you have your diamond painting uh, with you so you kind of like you have a family time together but at the same time you stay creative for me i just don't like watch tv and do nothing with my hands my hands need to be creative <laughs> so guys um, I hope this video will help you a little bit to find the peace in yourself, get rid of the destruction of negativity. If you have somebody who negative, unfollow them. If you watch some YouTube channel that is only negative channel, don't follow them, don't watch them. Watch people that are happy, they love to share with you good spirit good tutorials uh good techniques so for me if somebody can learn just the one person can learn something from my videos that make me happy i feel like i'm successful what i wanted to achieve guys youtube is my passion and i'm not just throwing video just for the sake of video i want this to be video every video was like I would love to fill in the video with the tips and tricks as much as possible so someone no matter what video they would click they would find something new to learn and that's make me happy so I'm a happy bunny right now I love diamond painting and with the help of diamond painting slowly I'm back I'm, I'm coming back to all my crafts that i loved through the years it's like beads creating jewelry the card making the stamping the molds but for now guys <laughs> diamond painting is a winner definitely i just cannot stop soon as i finish my diamond painting i need to start new one right away otherwise i'm just like hmm what should i do now I should open new diamond painting yes so stay creative stay happy and find your happiness in diamond painting and everything else will be just sparkle and perfect if you in your life happy crafting day see you next time
When I first saw this video, I was absolutely blown away by Natalia's strength. I admire her vulnerability when sharing with our dreamer community. It is through videos like this where we can support each other and grow together as a community. Please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. We're looking forward to reading your experiences in the comments below. We wish you a fabulous day and we look forward to the next episode that will be airing on Friday. For now, paint with passion.